Today's adventure brings us to West Hollywood, where Carney's, a diner inside a railroad car, has been slimed. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. This location is not normally like this. It is a limited time pop-up. I need to duck down just a bit to show you the gooey green goodness that is oozing down behind me. I have never eaten here before. That is about to change momentarily. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? You can see equipped with a photo opportunity wall and the entire train car has been repainted. Passerby traffic are probably thinking, what the heck? The heart of the Sunset Strip. Even the sun blocking umbrellas keeping up with the theming. And the railroad crossing up there is just dripping, just dripping down on the traffic and pedestrians. You certainly don't want any of that stuff dripping on you. It'd be hard to wash off. Nearly every detail and nook and cranny has been properly adorned. Now I know what you're thinking. What's the inside look like? Well, be patient. I'm gonna head in there momentarily. First, I wanna, wanna show off the exterior properly. You'll see the theming begins right around this point with the door that leads inward. The yellow and green formulation up there towards the roof line definitely draws the attention. Right? You guys see this train over here to your right or left, depending on which way you're going? Okay, he sped off. He wasn't interested. This is the real deal. Pieces of a locomotive and the tracks are even down there. Pretty neat. Known as the Carney's Express. I'm just reading what's written on the side. Limited. Let's not forget about the Nickelodeon logo busting up there through the top portion. Just splashing all around, splashing up to the heavens. Around the back, the wording is in the front portion of that little splash zone. You gotta keep your distance, that stuff. Sticky. After grabbing what I'm gonna consume, I think my game plan is to come out here on a little porch area to eat. For real though, this stuff is everywhere. Everywhere. At this moment, not too incredibly busy. Even looking outward. Yeah, see, even looking outward, there's no escape. Beware of the trains. Check it out. This is what it looked like when it was being delivered to this location. They have gluten-free buns for a little bit of an extra fee. And you can get a banana dipped in chocolate. They had to cut this thing in half to get it into place. They sliced it right down the middle. My beverage also completely, completely engulfed and and covered, you flip it around, you'll see that logo. I was talking to the server inside and they were saying that Nickelodeon is sponsoring this and they were the one that, that put the ooze and the goo and the slime because of the awards that are coming up in the near future as well as the 20th anniversary of SpongeBob. And this is what we're dealing with. I got some regular fries right over here you will see behind this piece of cardboard a double cheese chili fied burger i'm so ready to chomp down on this thing just go to go to town a little carney's action you have to give it a little bit of an unwrapping a proper unwrapping how's this for a backdrop to consume a oh it's dripping it's almost like the slime drips. Chili also, also drips. It's a little warm on the lips. Mm. It's good. I'm realizing now, should've got some napkins. 
I have no napkins. Now I could go back up there and get some, but I'm just gonna power through it. Green pickle, green slime. Hmm. Kind of fits in. Ketchup's red though. I do remember that there was a brand that made green ketchup. I, I don't think I don't think they do that anymore. Progressing a little bit, it's falling apart on me. So, and now going in with the with the fork, finishing up, washing it down, and once that is completed. I think I might grab a little dessert, a little dip banana. I saw on their social media that they were dipping them in the slime. That didn't last too long. Once I arrived, the manager told me they were no longer doing that because of some of the improper comments that were being left online. So Nickelodeon decide, called them up and said, yeah, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Don't put any more of the green stuff on the bananas. Now since I came down here specifically, well, one of the reasons to get the dipped green banana, they didn't have it. They gave me this complimentary one without the slime on it. So you just use your imagination and pretend there's slime here on this delicious looking chocolate filled item. Mmm. Good. And quite possibly a future meme. Mm. Pretty dang good. Mm. Cold. Cold. So cold. A pretty fantastic experience nonetheless. I highly approve of this. Which gets me thinking, while I'm at it, might as well swing by the animation studios. It isn't too incredibly far away. It's taken me a while to complete this. Can't eat it, can't eat it fast. It's frozen, almost frozen solid. Much better than I expected it would be. Man, my teeth are cold. Nickelodeon, right here at Carney's. I think that's how the theme song went. I wonder how hard it'd be to make my own slime and place it on my own particular food items. Don't even think about parking here. This area reserved for the slime. In the middle of commuting, stopped at this light. There's a relic. It's closed, but video store building right over there. Oh, that truck was green. Even that truck was slimed. In case you missed it, after a 10 mile jaunt, arrived at the hills of Burbank. Just gonna peruse around the perimeter of Nickelodeon complex. Now I do not have the credentials to go indoors, but I thought it was a pretty good tie in to this particular subject matter. It's faded over time, but look at the coloration on the curbs and where you're allowed to park and not allowed to park. It's green. Oh, this is pretty neat. Look at the animated characters there on that tarp through this closed off entrance. Whoa, there's a rocket painted on the side of that wall. Now that I'm noticing all of it, it seems everywhere I turn, it's just more slime. Slime, slime everywhere, slime. Pretty fantastic architecture on the building itself. Faded memories down here that someone has taken their artistic gift. It's kind of faded away, but you can see they've wrote the names Invader Zim, and then it states here, early 2000 Nicktoons. See if you recognize any of these. The chalk is definitely somewhat washed away. 
Yeah, someone put some time and effort into the sidewalk markings. I like this. Very cool. do it for today if you're new here please subscribe by doing so it helps keep you in the loop on future uploads here on this channel if you enjoyed this particular episode give it a big thumbs up i'll see you in the next video the vlog is over